Hello everyone, Matthew97657 here, and today we are back with yet another figure unboxing and review. And, as we can see from the thumbnail, the title, and the image presented in front of us, we have the uh, Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong Battle Mecha Godzilla. Um, yeah, 6 inch line, 5 inch line, with Proton Scream. So, um, let's go ahead and move him out of the way. Here I am, right, wearing the Mecha G t-shirt from Cavity Colors. Really, really cool. But, yeah, this is him in the box here. As you see, he comes with the battle damage piece and then the proton scream. And then, uh, just in the box, kind of, uh, examination. The paint is kind of like a... a it's, oh, <laughs> uh, the more I look at it, it's like a very... It's like a, like a good gray, like a gunmetal gray. But at the same time, I just feel like there's like hints of brown in it. But I think it looks really nice. Well, almost like a black too, if you will. And then the spines are translucent red, so that looks awesome on him. And then, so yeah, I'm um, gonna go ahead and show off those. Uh, more of the kind of basic line that they have here. But yeah, this is uh, this is him. I think this is the hardest one or hardest one to find because it's Mechagodzilla. And for whatever reason, people with absolutely no other better things to do in their life kind of just, you know, uh, scalp these toys, which is uh, extremely low like really man come on these are these are actually children's toys uh but luckily i was able enough to get this guy in the stores um i actually did get these three so i think these were all a part of like a wave i believe so these guys will be in their own separate video but um with that nothing more to it than to get on right on into it so let's go ahead and dig in like i was saying um yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, re like really, it's kind of not even sad. It's not kind of. It is pretty sad, you know, for this type of stuff to happen for uh, legitimate children's toys. But hey, what can you do, right? So here is the tail piece. As you can see, it's translucent um, on this part here. And the actual tail is like a gunmetal gray, which looks very nice. So, and it's all flexible and stuff. So, let's go ahead and get Mecha G out here now. I pulled out some accessories. This is his battle damage chest piece. Uh, once again, just kind of like goes with the color of it. It's kind of rubbery a little bit, but you see that's kind of the detail they got going on there. And lastly, for our accessories, we have the proton scream which is just i think the atomic breath piece they gave godzilla and they just painted it red so um nothing too crazy there it's translucent as you can see and lastly let's free up the mechanical beast himself there we are and so there's the box there. Put our knife away. Thank you, thank you. And so let's go ahead and get started on this review here. So this is, you know, just a base figure. Uh, just kind of like off of pulling it out. It's kind of got warping on the feet, which is kind of funny. Um, but I don't think it'll be a contributing issue to most. But as you can see here, right? Yeah, this is it. <clears throat> so as I said before, translucent. Um, dorsal plates those are pretty cool and then uh the main color is this gunmetal gray so i think that looks really really nice on him um if you weren't able to pick up the first version then i think this one would be the one to go with as well but that's if you can find him right um so that there is the chest piece i know kind of in a weird spot but it also looks like um those are where the missiles are so i think it's a pretty cool detail to kind of put in um so yeah let's go ahead and just put that on wow that was extremely easy compared to some of the other ones and then this should just be as easy as plopping it in there we are tail is nicely placed as you can see mine seems to have a little bit of a loose joint on the leg so he likes to come forward with it which is a little unfortunate, but I'm sure some fix is out there for something like this. But, yeah, I think the feet 
have, that got warped here are going to be actually an issue. I think, uh, you know, natural heat or just like putting, you know, an air dryer on it and kind of remolding it is probably something that'll be able to be fixed. So let's go ahead and get started with our review here. Um, this is him. This is a full frame shot, right? I'm kind of just trying to make him look a little nice, but that's the full shot there. We got a side profile, nice gunmetal gray with the uh, red plates, back piece there, another side profile. And then once again, we've come full circle and wow, mine really does not want to stand up. So there is that there. And then for articulation wise, I think we kind of have our basic Playmate stuff. We've got the jaw, which can come oh, like a really, really low level, but jaw. And then it's got the little piece to fit the proton scream in there. And then the head itself doesn't move. The arms can move. They have this like swivel here, which allows them to come up, down, kind of twirl them around. And then there's no articulation on the hands or like the elbows. It's just one firm piece. Legs here. We see, see the joint there, the, I think that's a ball joint, but um, his leg here comes up, out and around, can come up, down, and then he also has a knee joint there, so boom, can come up like that and that, and the foot can rotate a full 360 there, and that's it. Uh, obviously tail, you can turn it around, and then I believe it's a little bit flexible, so you can kind of bend it to your will but it's probably not going to be like super super crazy but yeah there he is nothing you know uh this is basic playmate stuff so it's not like gonna be too abstract but it's pretty cool to see nonetheless i think um this color looks really nice for mechagodzilla and just the additional proton screen looks nice as well so if you want close that up or make it like that and then let's get my guy to stand. He is struggling. There we go. Looks pretty cool, no? Ta-da. So there is that. That's pretty much the figure review. We're going to go ahead and do some comparisons and we'll wrap it up with some news coverage. We've kind of got a lot to go over, I think. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, this is the Playmates Mechagodzilla. Um, this guy looks taller because I have him in a very tall position. Uh, but they are, I would like to believe, the same figure. This one does have a battle damage piece too. I'd like to believe they're the same figure, just a little bit um, different in the coloration. And then the dorsal plates are translucent. So, wow, okay, I guess this is just a, a me thing. But here's the comparison here, as you see, um, darker gray, lighter gray, translucent non-translucent i think they both work very well but um <clears throat> if you prefer one or the other go ahead and let a comment down in the below section to kind of just uh, see what what y'all feel i like to kind of read what y'all think of so we'll go ahead and do this godzilla here mm -hmm. this is the heat ray one that came with an atomic breath piece as well so i think these two look very nice together you can kind of replicate the beam clash maybe but i don't think the the jaw can go up uh we'll do a kong we'll do the battle axe kong if you want you can uh, replicate the fight in hong kong in the day make a cool display out of that i think that will look really really cool and then lastly we're gonna do the bandai mecha godzilla unfortunately i don't have the SH Monster Arts just yet. Uh, it should be coming in hopefully next month. It was scheduled for uh, the month of January, but I know there's been shipping delays around the whole world, so everything's kind of behind. So hopefully we see it February. If not, um, I think the latest will be March, but um, I have absolutely no control over that. So in due time, we'll see it. Am I right? Boom. And yeah, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the figure review and unboxing. So if you're here for that, uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think of him. And if you're here for the news coverage, go ahead and sit back, relax. We're gonna go ahead and start this right now. So the first thing to come off the top of my head, it's very early in the morning, because this is kind of when I record and when I'm able to. Uh, first thing to come off, 
Monsterverse continues. We actually do have a confirmation of a Monsterverse television show, which is an exclusive for Apple Plus viewers. It takes place between 2014 and 2019. Um, I think it's a family that, you know, kind of just ventures out into the world after the San Fran attack. And then they discover, I guess, more secrets of Monarch. So maybe we'll see a little bit of like a lead into King of the Monsters, maybe like, oh, Ghidorah, Rodan. I wouldn't think so. I don't, I don't really think Toho would kind of like just throw the license out for those monsters there. But uh, maybe we'll see some stuff on Godzilla, some of the other Titans that are actually original creations. That'd be really cool to see. I'm very, I'm looking um, much forward to it because the Monsters continues, right? We've pretty much had like almost nothing for a good while. And then boom, all of a sudden, a uh, greenlit TV show. So I think that's going to be awesome. Um, right. Figure-wise, I'm trying to think. Figure-wise, Playmates. This is actually, like, when I saw this today, um, Playmates did show up at London Toy Fair. I'm not too familiar with that Toy Fair, but they did show up there. Um, and they did reveal some new figures that are coming out um so some of those were like a kong squad and six inch i think a king Ghidorah, a basic line that's like that's what i'll call them basic line king Ghidorah, uh a new shin godzilla which is i think an actual mold that they produced no shade there but i mean it was kind of obvious on the first one uh a shin godzilla i said the kong Ooh, I think they're reprinting the Rodan, the 1956, I believe. And then there is a Burning Godzilla, apparently, but it's got the 2014 movie title on there. So <clears throat> some people were speculating it's the, like, the poster version that, like, SH Monsters did for the 2014 release, where it kind of looks like he's, like, on fire or he's kind of got that red atmosphere on him. Uh, that one looks pretty cool. It looks like a new mold. And then lastly, which was kind of a surprise, we got uh, Godzilla Terrestrious from Singular Point, which honestly looks really nice for Playmates. I think they really hit it out of the ballpark there, but it's kind of uh, funny to see a Singular Point figure and not it being Godzilla Ultima, but Godzilla Terrestrious first. And I don't know, just the idea of like Singular Point being in US stores is like, whoa, like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just like a thing in me, but it's really cool to see, so. Playmates, I guess you get a clappers on that. Uh, I think they actually are making a bigger version of this figure here um, with the this paint job and then the translucent spines. I think that was a thing. I'm not sure if it's the battle roar or just kind of like the, the, mega, the mega figures they make. So that guy was there too. And then there's also a battle roar mecha Godzilla. So yes, uh, look forward to that for the Playmates side. SH Monster Arts wise, we did get a new announcement of the well a confirmation of the singular point rodan which looks uh really cool a lot of, I, not a lot of people but there are some people kind of like eh, on it because it has sp rodan kind of looks just like a pterosaur but i think the design looks really cool uh he's actually a pretty cheap figure i think it comes up to around 50 dollars comes with the flight stand obviously and then i think it comes with eight little rodans that are kind of like on a pedestal so i think that looks awesome look forward to that haven't pre-ordered it just yet, but that's going to be something I will get. Um, X Plus wise, they finally dropped the US orders for the X Plus 30 centimeter, I believe it is, Kong from GVK. I was able to pre-order that, so that should come out in May, I think. I think Godzilla's in April, and God or Godzilla's in April, and Kong is in May. And um, I think. That's going to wrap it up for this one. I think I could keep going on and on, but I don't want to hold y'all just too much. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I'll cover some news in these videos here, but I think I got mostly what I wanted to say for now. Uh, Death or Real Kong, that's also a thing as well. So I haven't gotten that one just yet, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here and then just kind of continue some of the news later on. So... <laughs> With that, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day and look forward to the upcoming review. Thank you.